Today we are here on the LD only account. We just had the Hall of Heroes for Dark Puree or Light Ninja. I mean, there's three other units, but really, for most of us, it's either the Dark Puree or the Light Ninja. We did a video on the Dark Puree. Today we are here to do a video on the Light Ninja. We have never summoned him on, fun fact, LD only account. He was a Hall of Heroes. We were not here for the, or we did not have this account when the Light Ninja was a Hall of Heroes. We actually do not have him on this account just yet. We are going to summon him. We've got plenty of other LDs we can summon as well. I mean, we actually do still have those on this account uh, also. But, brand new unit. Unfortunately, his activation rate has always been a struggle. I mean, this is the LD only account, except that we didn't want to do a spotlight of this one. His activation rate is, uh, is, where is he? Oh, he's all the way over here. So his activation rate with skill three, is pretty rough. It's a 50% chance to remove a beneficial effect. One beneficial effect, 50% chance, not great. He also has a chance of landing and glancing it for three turns. I would prefer the 75% chance. Councils probably knows this. They're like, yeah, I'm sure you prefer a lot of things, but I would prefer if this is the other way around. It's pointless to have a 75% chance of landing and glancing it if you can't strip the immunity. So anyway, we are going to awaken oh, <clears throat> we are going to awaken him after we figure out the situation of getting more essences because apparently we're out of uh, light ones right now. I forgot how rough some of the runes on this account are. So we have him on despair. The crit rate is a little low. The accuracy is okay. The speed is gonna have to be okay. We have him fully skilled up. Of course, he's got the 30% speed lead. So we should, we should, we should be able to uh, outspeed things. A sheer well, not these Ashirs. The Ashir that we have is 318. So hopefully we can outspeed some stuff. He has, what is it? Speed, crit damage, accuracy. Not not the most amazing. Again, this is the LD only account. Not the most amazing runes you've ever seen in your life, but we're gonna take him into some stuff and we'll see how he does. I don't know if I have faith in, uh, in this actually working. We're gonna do this one just because I don't wanna have to deal with Samoth and it's also going to nerf some of these uh, beast riders. Let's see what we have. So we have the speed lead. We're definitely gonna outspeed because we have 30 speed lead and then we have super fast base speed is sheer. So <laughs> we outspeed, we strip? I don't know. We're gonna find out. 50% chance to strip. Let's see if we actually strip anything if we do not. We're hoping to actually kill the Samoth without the- Oh, look at that. She was uh, getting ready to take a turn. So, uh, we don't have any attack power buff. We don't have any defense break. Can we possibly kill Samoth with this? Let's find out. We do not, and now we are screwed. It would have been wonderful if we could have gotten that strip on all of these units. Let's try it again, because we're definitely not winning with this one. Second time's the charm. Let's go. Do we strip? 50%. This is why it needs to at least be 75. Even if it was 75, even if it was 100, even if it was a 100% chance, it still would fail sometimes, right? So, because 100% isn't 100%, unless you're Tiana, in which case... Third time is maybe the charm. I don't know. That's what the saying goes, but uh, I, I don't think this is gonna... If we strip, if we strip, we have a chance. If we don't strip, Okay, so we actually do, when well, we strip on two things, we still have to deal with the Savannah though. So we actually take this uh, Samoth down. We don't have to worry about him coming back. Okay, and now we have the Savannah. And now, it's kind of pointless to even use this. So I, I, think that, uh, I think that says enough. That says it all. Let's try this now with a different team. Maybe everyone had 100% resist. Well, even so, he's, it's just not activating. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have to go back and, uh, and take a look. Oh, fantastic. Well, if we don't, have any immunity on the opponent's side, then sure, it can definitely work. Do you see what happens? Do you see that the team is actually not super crappy when there's, <laughs> when there's no failure to trip, when we actually are able to get some debuffs on the enemies? So here we go, beautiful. I think the strategy we're gonna have to try to use with this is, is hope that there's nothing to strip because he's gonna just massively fail, okay. Do we, do we maybe get crazy lucky? <laughs> oh, he's so bad! He's such a pile of crap! So this could work. It's not a great defense, though. I think that's putting it lightly. This could work, though. If they, as long as they don't have anything to strip. As long as. Okay, well, maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it can't work. 
All right, let's do uh, one of these. Didn't take anything down. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose of using her at all. So let's go here. Because I don't want this thing to uh, get his debuffs off so soon. Welcome back a second time. Yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose of using the... Uh... There we go. We get the jealousy. You could you could have just Lucian this though. Devil's Advocate, you could you could literally just Lucian this and it makes it so much easier. He's he's there for a speed lead if you don't have a another speed lead. I I suppose we can't Lucian it on this account because no Lucian because LD, right? So But we wanna see we wanna see his skill three not work for like 10 minutes. This could be interesting. Actually, let's take this out. Nah, we'll leave it in, we'll leave it in. Yeah, I think we could actually outspeed this. We'll see. Yep. Do we actually get the nice, well, they didn't have immunity. <laughs> That's why. Again, this is, how, this is how we win with this team is just make sure the enemy does not have immunity, but that kind of defeats the purpose of what Jin is supposed to do. His skill three. If you don't have a 33 speed lead, you can use Jin. If you have a 33 speed lead, literally, <laughs> literally any speed lead will probably be more effective than Jin is. So as long as they don't have immunity, right, this is starting to become a trend. As long as it doesn't have immunity, we're fine with a unit that has an AOE strip. Oh, they have immunity. Okay, so it's a it's a roll of the dice. It's RNG to decide if he's go. I don't know if this is the same person that we fought in the beginning, but I really hope it's not. Because I know they have all... Oh, they don't have all will runes. It's okay. He's not going to strip the two units we need to strip. I told you. I told you he was not going to strip them. I'm pretty sure it's the same person anyway. It might not be. I don't know. Okay, so we got lucky. Okay, that's that's a good strategy. Get lucky. Right. We got a stun. Okay. Linda OP. Got it. I, I mean, I mean, she's she's not OP. She's not OP. If she did more damage. And again, we don't have the attack power buff on her. Obviously, she's not going to do a crazy amount of damage. But even if she did have the attack power buff, she doesn't... Like, her damage multiplier isn't... Oh, we should have done the skill one on the uh, Nana. But her damage multiplier isn't crazy. Final verdict is... To be honest, the same final verdict we've known for years is Jin is not an effective stripper. That's why nobody uses him as a stripper. He strips 50% of the time before we take into consideration accuracy and resistance, which means effectively he's stripping one out of three times when he needs to strip, and that's not even considering the fact that he only strips one thing, not everything. So this is just a very much weaker, very inconsistent... I mean, inconsistent is even putting it lightly. This is just a <laughs> several tiers down version of Chibu, to be honest, but that's not what, really what we use Jin for in, in a real-world situation is we use Jin with... Like, for example, the light, um, light Harg with Lucian for Siege against speed teams. So that's that's really what he's there for. For the speed lead with something like the Light Harg. Because he's the, the Light Griffin, not the Light Griffin, uh, the Light Garuda. He's not going to have high enough base speed to actually outspeed anything, even with the Jin speed lead. So anyway, that's it for this one. A one in three chance to actually strip something not very good. Again, 50% chance, but then accuracy and resistance, you're stripping... One out of thing, one out of three of the things that you actually want to strip. So anyway, that's it for this one. Nothing new. We've known this for years. That's why we don't use him as a stripper. See you as always in the next one.